In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a multilingual site by Angular 5. This video is based on the projects that I introduced and created in the video Realize Internationalization in Angular 5. Therefore, if you have not watched it yet, please refer to that video at first. And you can download the project source by GitHub. Its URL is github.com slash oats slash nt5 i18n demo dot git. First of all, I'm going to change the language by using the local server. In your VS Code, open the command line window by typing control plus back apostrophe key. Then type NGS for starting local server. In your browser, open localhost column 4200. You will find the default English page. Back in the VS Code, type npm run start colon ja. Back in the browser, refresh the page. You will find the Japanese page. OK. Back in the VS Code, type Ctrl C and Y return to stop the server. We need to add some build commands in package.json file. Back in the browser, open the GIST site. Its URL is guest.github.com slash otsu. In this page, you will find i18n package.json and copy the script. Back in the VS Code, paste them in package.json file. Change the build script for English to the script for French. Save this file. Next, we need a new locale text for French. Open source slash locale directory by your file explorer. Then copy messages dot ja dot xlf to messages 
.fwal.xrf file. Back in the VS Code, open messages.fwal.xrf file and change the target text from Japanese to French. Save this file. Next, in the command line, type npm run start colon fr. Back in the browser, refresh the page, you will find the French page. Ok, next we are going to make a multilingual site. For this test, I am going to use GitHub pages. If you want to make some site in GitHub pages, you need to change some settings. Open your GitHub repo and select settings in the top menu. You will find GitHub Pages section. Select master branch slash docs folder for the source. Please note that you must create the docs folder beforehand in order to make this setting effective. You will find the message your site is published at https colon slash this is your own site, not the URL. <clears throat> Back in the VS Code, type npm run build. It will make the default language, that is English, set for the de deployment. Next type npm run build colon ja. It will make the Japanese set for the deployment.
Finally, type npm run build colon fl. It will make the frame set. You will find the created disk directory. Open it and you will find JA directory and FR directory. Copy all the files and directories. Then open docs directory of your repos locale, a local clone. In your reports local clone, open another VS code by typing code dot. You will find JA and F directory in the docs directory. Push them to the GitHub server. Back in the browser, open your GitHub page by the URL which you noted before. But nothing is displayed. Something is wrong. Open console window by typing Ctrl Shift plus I key. You will find 404 error, which means file not found. In GitHub pages, you need to change the base href depending on your own repo. I'm now using ng5i18n demo repo, so I need to add ng5i18n demo to the base href parameter. Back in the VS Code, open package.json file and modify build scripts by your own repo name. Change dash dash base dash href parameters.
then again, type npm run build. Type npm run build colon ja. Type npm run build colon fl then copy all the files and directories in the disk directory and paste them in docs of your repos local clone next push them to the github server Back in the browser, up on your GitHub page, you may find file not found error, but it is okay because it is cached error. Try to access slash ja and slash fr. Okay, next we need to add links for changing languages. Back in the VS Code, open http.component.html file, add links to the file. Save this file. Then again, type npm run build.
type and pm run build colon ja type and pm run build colon fr As before, copy all the files and directories in the disk directory and paste them in docs of your report's local clone. Next, push them to the GitHub server. Back in the browser, you will find language menu such as English, Japanese, and French. Click these links. You will find the target language page. Okay. Alright. Thank you for watching.